This is strange. One of our servers is being pinged constantly from the Wi-Fi of a particular Star Roger coffee. Why am I supposed to care? Yes, I thought it was noise at first too, but then I decoded the pings. It's Morse code. Three letters repeating over and over. Go on. S. O. Wait for it. S. Let's get moving then. Send me the coordinates. I'm here. What now? There doesn't seem to be any obvious peril, does there? Have a seat and I'll ping back the IP, sending us the distress signal.
Well, a flip phone. Are you fucking me about right now? It's a crypto phone. It's secure. Every device on CTOS can be compromised. If we're overheard, we're dead. Both of us. Who the fuck is this? Not important. What matters is that I have inside information on SIRS, and I believe the people who framed you are rogue officers. And loath as I am to say it, dead sec may be my only hope to stop them. Oh, listen, but I'm not promising anything. Good. I hit coordinates to a meeting place on a device in that establishment. Hey, Bagley, Sabine, what do you think of all this, eh? All right, that's a wrinkle. So this SARS bloke says Zero Day are a bunch of Secret Service dickheads, I mean... We got ourselves into a bit of a pinch. Contact's not here, but signs of a struggle are. SIRS may be onto him. If you get access to the area's surveillance infrastructure, I can rebuild the scene in AR. All right, I'll give it a go. That's done it. Now return to the scene and I'll reconstruct what happened to our contact.
ZTOSAR. Data reconstruction in progress. That appears to be our contact. Fucking hell! Yes, it certainly doesn't look like his best day, does it? Analyze the clues in the AR workspace to find out what happened to him. This is a non-lethal weapon, so odds are he's still alive, though he may not want to be. They've taken our SIRS contact away, but they may still be nearby. I can reconstruct the vehicle's path from unsecured CCTV recordings. That should allow you to follow it. Reconstruction's nearly finished, and so's our contact if you don't hurry. Oh fuck! I'm sorry! It looks like our contact's assailant stopped here, but I can't see them nearby. Let's analyze the data to see if we can find out where they went. CTOSAR, data reconstruction in progress. Our contact's assailants are switching vehicles to elude pursuers, which is standard operating procedure for private military perks like Albion. Wait, it's Albion and not SIRS. What can I tell you? They're mercenaries. If you keep looking, you might find out why they're interested in an SIRS whistleblower. completed a thorough analysis of the vehicle and concluded it is a van. No one likes a clever dick badly. What else? Well, I could also mention that the minute traces of sand in the tyre tracks indicate that it's been on a construction site recently. But you know me, hate to sound like a smartass. 
I've been scanning nearby construction yards for Albion activity and, long story short, some dozy git has forgotten to turn off the security camera in the makeshift torture room. Show me. I'm not who you think I am. You're Malik, a SERS officer and a leaky fucking twat. That's not me. I swear to God. Please, please. Ah, tits. He's going to get himself killed, isn't he? Can't have that. Bags, let's have a location then. See anything here? You're gonna have to come out sometime. Stay sharp. Search the area.
Easy. Calm down. I'm dead sick. You rang us. Of course. You shouldn't have come here. Now they'll know for sure I've betrayed them. We just saved your ass. No, you've just damned us both. Look, I'll upload the intelligence onto an anonymous FTP. It'll explain everything. Actually, I'd like you to explain everything. My name is Richard Malik. I'm an intelligence analyst. I believe Zero Day are rogue SIRS officers who framed you for the bombings to seize power. Now they're murdering or blackmailing anyone who threatens them, which now somehow includes me. All right. We'll see what Bagley makes of the intel. But don't make me regret this. That I can't promise. has made his way out, and now I suggest you do the same. Laying it on a little thick, wasn't he? Why not check the intel anyway? All right, one second. Bagley, check the intel and get everyone together for a briefing. Let's blow this open. This is Sirs we're talking about, not some Albion dickheads. We should walk away, right now, while we still have kneecaps. Nope. No way. He needs us. May I present the third option? Just use him. An SRS whistleblower, even one you don't trust, could still help us find the arseholes that blew up half of London and framed DedSec for it. You don't have to invite him to your birthday, just use his information. Solid plan. Sure.
me tits hang out. the gist. Malik's intelligence checks out. A rogue faction of SRS officers framed DedSec for the bombings to consolidate power over the government. But now they've noticed that some people are standing up to the new order and they're blaming you. I believe these are the people you call Zero Day. I don't know their names, but it's safe to assume they have a ringleader. And in my experience overseas, removing the leader... Yeah, take out the leader, take out Zero Day. But why are you talking to us now? Two weeks ago, a shell company connected with Zero Day's operations imported 40 kilos of Semtex from an old Soviet bloc depot. But it never left London. Which means Zero Day is planning a bombing that will make those earlier bombings look like a bonfire. And I think I know why. As we're all now painfully aware, false flag attacks are a common propaganda tool for despots. Kill a load of people and the rest fall into line behind whoever says they won't let it happen again. In this case, Zero Day. Which means we both want to discover who's pulling Zero Day strings and stop them. We need to get hold of the personnel dossiers of anyone connected with the earlier bombings and their cover-up. Then Malik and I can analyze their common connections and work out who's in charge of Zero Day. And I'll be on the comm to observe. So if Malik's right, Zero Day are some kind of shadowy cabal of spies who blew up half the city to secretly take control of the government. But now they're pissed off that someone's standing up to them, so they're going to do it again. That's awful. I agree. You'd think they'd come up with something besides another bombing. Bit of a double beat, isn't it? Fuck me, is this on us? Zero Day's back to bombings because we stuck our tits in it? Cut that victim-flaming shit. I'd rather get blown up a thousand times than lie down just so some wannabe tyrants can stamp on my face. <laughs>